What's up, Jordan Downs? Y'all already know the deal, man. It's Ice Beasy Montana, Mr. I don't fuck with no green grapes. We gonna jump into this uh, reaction right now, you know what I mean? They sent me this video. They want a reaction done, so we gonna get to it. But dude comes home, catch the side nigga in the house with his bitch. I guess he just knocked his bitch down. But we gonna get into the reaction, you know, I'm gonna get raw and uncut with it. And we got do's and don'ts when you come into these type of situations. So, y'all gonna uh, check this out. Hop up in them comments and let me know what y'all think about this, man. Real shit. Look at this whole ass shit. Caught this nigga in my house, bro. Great, this nigga, he leaking like a motherfucker. Look at this whole ass nigga. My baby mom's on her birthday, though. Swear she ain't fucking this nigga, though. That's crazy. Whole ass bitch, though. Look at this whole ass bitch. Tried to call the police on the nigga. I'm with this bitch for 11 years, though. 11 years, she hiding this nigga. This whole ass nigga tried to hit me with a chair when I came in the basement. Scrape this whole ass. Look at the blood going up the stairs. My baby's upstairs and shit. Scrape this whole ass nigga. He swear to God he ain't fucking my baby moms though. What the fuck you doing? Why you holding you that shit up? My blood. Put that shit up before I scrape your ass again. Nigga, I, nigga, I, nigga, stop playing with me on folk. Like I said, nigga, you, you done. Okay. First of all, I want to say, if you gonna pop up at a bitch house and you gonna go to a bitch house, baby toys, all type of shit. It's consequences to this type of shit. So, you know what I mean? These bitches be snakes. They'll put your ass in a deadly situation. And it was just happy. It was lucky that the dude that he ran into, you know what I mean, had a little bit more calmness, you know what I mean, level-minded than a nigga like me. But yeah, you walk in the house, your kids there, y'all in the basement, you fucking a whole nother nigga, it's your birthday. So he wrong for just popping up and fucking a bitch in the house with the kids and not knowing the whole fully situation. Could have got a room, could have, you know what I mean, did something else, but it shows what type of bitch she is getting fucked in the basement on her birthday. But at the end of the day, you must ain't doing your job. Like, you doing something fucked up to where your bitch is fucking another nigga in your crib in the basement on her birthday. So sometimes y'all get too comfortable with these bitches and, and thinking, oh, I'm digging her down. I'm, I'm fucking her. I'm, you know what I mean? Y'all probably fucking in that same missionary position. And then you get a nigga that get up in that head in her and she get to talking to him. And next thing you know, he fucking her. He porn star fucking her. Shifting her to the side, from the back, all type of different ways. Know what I mean? It's, it, it's something you doing that got your, gave your bitch the audacity to bring another nigga in your house. So at the end of the day, you did right. You scraped the nigga. He threw the chair at you trying to come in. He should have been prepared for a, full, for a full battle. But at the end of the day, it could have went left real fast. Because basically, the nigga could have been strapped. You could have came into a whole another situation. But that's what these bitches do. They sit up and they jeopardize niggas. Bitches are sneaky. They, you would never think they cheat, but you lacking somewhere. You, you ain't being there for it mentally. Or you ain't fucking it right. You dogging her out. It's most of these niggas be cheating and got caught. And bitches get tired of that shit. But check it out, though. Look at the rest of this shit, man. It's like, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. Like, y'all y'all get up in the comments and let me know what y'all think about the situation, basically. So, yeah, get into this other part right here. Hey, think it's a game, you whole ass bitch. Go ahead. It's over with your whole ass, nigga. You a whole ass bitch, nigga. You exposed. The shit that you tried to tell my family, nigga, what? about a nigga that took care of you for 11 years, you whole ass bitch. Scraped your whole ass and scraped this whole ass nigga too. This bitch tried to call the Pope on the nigga. I took care yeah, of this bitch. Taught this bitch how to cook. This bitch can peel an onion or a fucking potato. This bitch cooking my family, my fucking granddaddy barbecue sauce. I ain't never met Paul Paul Ken. This <laughs> bitch right here, this fucking Latino, called Donald Trump, send this bitch back. I want to see her papers. This bitch grind. Yo, man, like, this dude is, it. he low key lost, man, because I'm, I'm going to say it like this. You been with the bitch 11 years and you saying she a whole ass bitch. So basically she was a whole ass bitch when you met her, to be honest. And if she fucking a nigga in your crib, she done did it before. She done got that bold to where you would sleep. You let your guard down all the way to where she brought another nigga into her spot, to your spot, y'all spot, however you want to call it. And then you saying you showed her how to cook, how to make the family recipe, all that. 
that don't mean that don't mean nothing. When a bitch got no, I mean, need something mentally, physically, and you're not holding it down, you could teach a bitch how to cook a whole course of meals. That ain't gonna stop the bitch from cheating, man. At the end of the day, it's like you gotta you gotta install some shit into your bitch, man. You you gotta build her up, help her get somewhere in life, like. If you just teaching her how to cook, keep her in the house, you out doing your thing, and, and the way that basement was, it's all fucked up. Like you ain't you ain't playing the man role. You ain't up there straightening, organizing everything, keeping the bitch happy. So at the end of the day, you doing something bad to where a bitch bring a nigga into your home. But if you would have caught her on the street, some side shit, then you know what I mean that that's different. But the bitch got bold and brought him into your house. And then you, you saying all this other stuff about her. You've been with her 11 years, so that's your bad. You let your guard down. You should have been teaching that bitch some real nigga shit. Should have been putting her through school or something, getting her some type of education to get her a career. Well, make her love you. It ain't even making her. It's just like, give her something to love. Give her something not to cheat on. Like, So, fucking a bitch every day and giving a bitch somewhere to stay and teaching her how to cook is ne will never, ever Stop a bitch from cheating because it's real niggas like me everywhere. So keep treating your bitch bad and shit like that happens. So just jump up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think and how y'all would have handled the situation. Because if it was me, to be honest, my situation would have went a whole lot different. And I don't know. If I would have lost my mind, then people would have lost their lives and I just would have been in jail. But ain't nothing worth going to jail and leaving your kids out here. Just kick the whole ass bitch up out of there. And that's it, that's all. Get your kids, take care of your kids. But other than that, use your mind out there, man. You can't always look at one situation and point the finger at one person. It, it's two sides to each story, sometimes three and four sides. So go on to get in the comments and tell me what you think. And oh boy, lost. he just sitting there sick, looking stupid. Like, stay on your shit. Or are you gonna be in a situation like this? This whole ass nigga scrape this nigga, bro. Stand your whole ass up. Stand your whole ass up, nigga. Fire fuck you up again, nigga. Stand your fuck ass nigga up, nigga. Fire scrape your. Like I said, at the end of the day, you are gonna be standing up looking like old boy, nigga. Talking about stand your whole ass up and you. I hope you got head and all that. I hope you just didn't eat the pussy, and fuck it, get caught, get bust up. You over there beat up, but at the end of the day. Right is right, wrong is wrong. And on both ends, they both had a wrong to me. You doing something to the bitch to where she feel like she's gonna disrespect you that much because I don't just believe that the bitch just like, oh, I'm gonna I'm link up with this nigga and bring him to the house where we live at. And on the nigga behalf, should've been a real nigga got a room. And what type of bitch wanna get fucked in the basement on a birthday? Come on, man. Pussy ain't that important. It's a million one hoes out there, man. So, good looking for tuning in and send reactions to the inbox. I answer them, and if they if they good and they good enough, yeah, I'm going to do a reaction to it. And I'm going to speak my mind and be 100 on every situation. So, good looking for tuning in. Y'all tune in to Great Street TV. What's up? Jordan Downs, stay solid.